Welcome to Ellis B. Feaster's radio channel and Travel Corner. I am Ellis, and this is my radio museum here on YouTube as we just keep the memories alive of great radio from days gone by. Today, back to Philadelphia with WRCP, 1540 AM. Now, in the 1970s, country was not really a big format in Philadelphia. However, on 1540 AM, WRCP was playing a traditional country format. Now, it operated with that handicap and then this one on top of it. It was a daytime-only station, so it signed on at sunrise and had to sign off at sunset. Now, they had some help because they had an FM station at 104.5. However, in 1977, the two services split. Uh, the FM 104.5 became WSNI and played beautiful country, and the AM continued with traditional country, and it kept that up until 1982 when the station flipped to oldies. Now, this is a short air check. I'm sorry, I wish it were longer, but I figured better to share it than just keep it stored up in my attic, and there aren't really many air checks of WRCP from the early 70s out there, so I thought I'd share it anyway. If you like what you hear, feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and smack that bell after you subscribe. That way, you'll be updated whenever we post anything new. Okay, this short air check contains Bob Rose handling Morning Drive. It's 1540 WRCP, Philadelphia, from August 1973. Don't forget there are always plenty of rides and exhibits at this year's Reading Fair. For ticket information, write Reading Campgrounds, Reading, Pennsylvania, 19605, or call area code 215-929-9401. That's the latest offering, musically speaking, from Bill Anderson. And the corners of my life, 16 past 9. Good morning to you, Rose, on your radio. We'll be uh, checking sports momentarily. First, we're going to take a, a long, long look at the weather together. <sighs> it is 81 degrees in Camden and Philadelphia, 77 along the shore. And with the uh, sports right now, here is star player who unfortunately had to retire from the from the game of softball. Cri uh, Skip, you had a great career lined up, and I'm, I'm sorry you weren't with us last night for our victory. Yeah, I would have liked to have been able to be there, and um, fellas said, all right, you beat the Medford Township Police Department, 12 to 5. You and Doug Gibbs split the pitching action there. And uh, we have another ball game coming up when, Bob? You have the uh, notice in there. I think it's next Tuesday night we're going to have another ball game. Maybe you could read that one for us and let our fans know when we'll be in action again. Good idea. The next big contest with the All-Americans will be in Haddon Heights. We're going to play a VFW post over there, and you're right. It is Tuesday night, September the 4th at the Haddon Heights Little League Field. Game time 6.15, and just for the record, it's an all-girl team. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and we'll have our three-game winning streak online over there. We're re record now 3-1 and one on a year. Also, the Phillies won last night. It's Skip Clayton with All-American Sports. Uh, w -R -C. America's Music.